Welcome to My Machining Life, and right now we're about to go and do a shop tour. I was going to wait until we cleaned up, but that's kind of a never going to happen situation. So, let's go. Bam! Shop dog. So, we are now in the break room. Nothing too major. A couple microwaves. A 1940 table with a non-matching chair and a water cooler so we're gonna move on to the front office it's not that big of a deal back there is what we really want to see let's go in here okay, so this is our design room so this is where we work with SolidWorks mainly only SolidWorks big ass mouse pad 3D connection which is always good to have when you're working with SolidWorks and a plotter so, as you can see, we are really, really utilizing the space in here. And here we have more of a conference area. That way we can discuss how we fucked up the part and what we should have done to fix it, kind of thing. More prints, paperwork everywhere. And this is how a machinist mind works. Just plotted everywhere. This is where everybody does their target practice. The leaking sink. So yeah, not, not too bad. A lot better than where we came from. Okay, so this is like the staging area. This is where I lay out what work goes where. So we have CNC mill, heat treat, manual machining in general. Got some engine blocks that we gotta work with. And this is some more tables to stack material and uh, what I like to do is cut the material and place it in the blue buckets with the print and kind of bring it through all the different processes with the bucket still intact but that never really works out. More clutter. So yet again we gotta get a lot more clean. This is our Mazak area. So we have two Mazaks. We have a quick turn 18. More clutter. At least the calibers are taken care of and the mics. Not too bad. Alright, this is our quick turn 250. We actually just took this turret out. We had to, to fix it. No big deal. Ah. Seth and I have finally got it under control. Seth is uh, the guy that also teaches surf cam on our website. So he is making some sockets right now. This is our wire EDM area slash sinker. So I guess just EDM. Another wire EDM that we have yet to hook up. These are our Haas mills. So we have them in line. It is a lot of walking around because our programming room is all the way over here. So this is our programming room. We have three seats of surf cam, one's a laptop, that's why it's not there. And this building used to be completely empty. We didn't even have that area in the very back. What we did was we stripped everything out and we built the mezzanine second floor in the back, which I will walk up and kind of show you guys around there. And we painted the floor, we put LED lighting, we uh, put units all over the walls for heating and cooling. Speaking of which, let me show you guys the inspection room the inspection room have a CMM brand new another CMM we got a boom to go over the CMM so yeah not, not too bad now let's walk to the back. Do, 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 do. 
This is one of the newer Haas mills. We actually want to get a 5-axis. We uh, just got back from the IMTS show, so we've seen some pretty cool stuff. Wow, well, I say we. I didn't go, but I've heard about it, and that's the important thing. So, forklift, horizontal mill. Over here, right beside the horizontal mill, is our tool crib. So, tools everywhere. And this is a good way, if you guys want to steal this idea, you can. Good way to organize end mills to keep from chipping each other. All we did was buy a shelf and end mill some holes in them. Alright, in the back, we have a... Da -da -da -da. Grinding room. So we got jig grinders, surface grinders. We have ODID grinders. So as you can see, we got a part up there now. We are trying to ID grind. It's D2, kind of a pain in the ass, but we're working with it. This room is also temperature controlled, which is very important when you're grinding. Back here, we got heat treat. So we got all the ovens. We have three manual mills. Manual lathe, which I love this manual lathe. Press brake. A couple more manual lathes. And we have our saw area. Not too shabby. All right, now let's head upstairs. All right, uh, this is uh, another machine shop. So they own these two offices and the, the area below us. So that's what's in this very back corner. Here's another cool break room. Da 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 da, break room. Although this does not have back pillows, it's pretty amazing. Even though there is a nail that gets my back right there. Drives me nuts. Here is a super old couch I got at a thrift store for like 20 bucks. It has seen better days. There's no telling what horrible things this couch has seen. And moving on. This is our gym. So we have, we're still kind of setting up. We've got a few different machines. We've got a power tower. We've got all this stuff off of Amazon. We got a budget to spend like $5,000, so we kind of utilized it the best we could. Found some stuff on Craigslist. And. We're working on it. The rest up here is just kind of storage, inventory, um, fixturing. Got a treadmill. So yeah, not too bad. So kind of a bird's eye view. Got the material room, manual, heat treat, horizontal mill, all the way over there. Got the CNC mills. Don't forget to subscribe and keep an eye out for more videos on our YouTube channel and uh, also our website. So machining-tutorials.com, we're coming out with a pool table tutorial, desktop pool table tutorial that shows you how to machine it on a Haas mill with Surfcam. So go to machining-tutorials.com and just browse around, ask any questions. You can always email me, contact me on YouTube, anytime you want.